Verisurf's CAD Measure Suite enables powerful reverse engineering workflows using probing devices such as laser trackers, portable arms, and fixed CMMs. CAD Measure supports wireframe, surface, and solid modeling, so you can reverse engineer parts for a wide range of applications. Reverse engineering involves measuring a sample part and exporting the features to CAD, where they're used to create a model. The reverse engineering tools in Verisurf CAD Measure can be described best through an example workflow, in this case the creation of a solid model of the Verisurf demo part. Reverse engineering typically starts by choosing a frame of reference for the model. The alignment features, such as planes, lines, and holes, are first measured by probing the part. Verisurf's Feature Align, or three-point align, is then used to align the device to the part reference frame so that measured geometry is in the same alignment. Once the device is aligned, the sides are measured as lines, and a spline is scanned across the front surface to capture the part outline. Verisurf provides a number of tools, such as attributes and levels, to organize the data in a model. Attributes such as colors and line style and width are configured to help identify the geometry. Setting individual levels can be used to further organize the model. The measured features are then exported to CAD where they're used to create the model. Prismatic geometry is captured using the tools in the measure manager. Verisurf measures all common features such as planes, cylinders, and slots as well as complex features such as toroids, cones, and spheres. Features can be probed in single point mode, or scanned in continuous mode, and 2D features can be projected onto a variety of measured or nominal planes. Probe offset compensation is applied automatically during the feature fit so that measured shapes conform to the part. When modeling the as-is condition of a sample part, Features are typically saved to CAD at their measured size and location. When creating an idealized model, where design intent is considered, the size of a part, for example the radius of a circle, can be constrained to a design value during measurement or modified later in CAD. The prismatic geometry of the part can be assigned distinct values and exported to CAD on its own level. Verisurf also supports measuring features directly to CAD. As each feature is measured, the CAD entity is created using the current attributes and placed on the active level to simplify the process. Once the part is measured, wireframe tools are used to modify the CAD entities for use in modeling. Fillets are added to the corners of the part outline and the triangular pocket, and the outline is trimmed. 3D features are exported to CAD as surfaces and wireframe for use in either surface or solid modeling. In addition, 2D wireframe can be used to create surfaces with a variety of tools, such as Loft, Draft, and Revolve. The Surface Patch tool is used to create surfaces for measurements of more complex contours that can be modeled by draping with an open surface. The part surface is first scanned using a probing device to create a point cloud. Real-time filtering enables collection of structured or filtered data and cloud editing tools enable further refinements, such as filtering to a uniform separation. When a surface patch is fit to a point cloud, the accuracy of the surface is controlled using a standard deviation limit, and the complexity of the surface is controlled by specifying the maximum U and V settings. Verisurf compensates for probe offset during the calculation, so the patch represents the physical surface. When the fit is complete, Statistics are displayed to verify that both the standard deviation and UV limits were achieved. Solid models can be created from wireframe entities using extrusion and Boolean operations. For example, the outline of the part can be used to extrude the main body of the model simply by dragging it to the right height. Solids can be trimmed using a plane or a surface, such as a patch. By specifying which side to keep, the contour of the surface patch can be used to define the contour of the solid body. Prismatic features are created in the solid by extruding the wire frame using a cut operation. When multiple features are cut to the same depth, they can be selected and extruded in a single operation. Extrusion supports draft so that complex features, such as cones, can be created. 
Wireframe can also be used to create simple geometric shapes, such as toroids, cylinders, and spheres. Using Boolean operations, one solid can then be added to or removed from another solid when building the model. Finally, when the solid body is complete, details such as chamfers and fillets are added to the edges of the model. VeriSurf CAD measure makes it easy to verify the accuracy of the finished model by using inspect mode to measure the deviation between the physical surface and the model. A deviation report can then be used to authenticate the accuracy of the model. The ability to go from probe data to wireframe, surface, and solid models quickly and easily, and to verify their accuracy, makes VeriSurf CAD measure a cost-effective solution for reverse engineering with a probing device. For more information on the many benefits of the VeriSurf CAD Measure suite, be sure to check out our other video on inspection with CAD Measure, or visit us online at verisurf.com contact.